Hey guys, I'm Mickey Bartlett, Chris Tomer, and this is the afternoon update with some new data, some new numbers. I'll refresh a few things. This is Monday, 1226. Um, let me talk about my bullet points first. Still looking at a powerful atmosphere at River Setup, 1227 through 1 to 4. Uh, 1 to 5 foot grand totals, and some of these big totals are going to range from California, the Sierra, to Utah, to Wyoming, to parts of Idaho, to Colorado. Um, there may be even a couple of places that exceed 5 feet with this. Um, there will be four to five distinct different waves of moisture riding this powerful west to east jet stream. Um, and the reach of this jet is west of Hawaii. I mean, it is way back into the, uh, the Pacific. Um, in fact, I wrote about it on my blog just a few minutes ago, published this. Big totals with a powerful nine-day atmospheric river. So take a look at that, chrystomer.com. Um, I did the setup there. Um, here it is full. This is the water vapor with channels of moisture um, lining up with the flow. Uh, the green arrows, the lime arrows representing the atmospheric river setup. Um, the big initial low that's hitting the uh, Pacific Northwest and BC is really kicking this thing off and will bring the whole pattern down and line it up orthogonally with uh, the Sierra and then we're going to get blow off into the interior. So back to the blog. Uh, let's look at the forecast pattern. This is really impressive. Let me take this uh, full. So the jet pattern zoomed out. I've been showing this the last two or three days. You really get a sense of why this is such a, a unique event. Um, the jet reaches way west of Hawaii. I mean, so we're grabbing moisture from thousands of miles away, thousands of miles away. The Pineapple Express, really in its true sense here, we're just grabbing that tropical moisture and just, just feeding it into the west coast and beyond. Um, so we've got the moisture, we've got the forcing, we've got all this in place. Um, so back to the blog, we'll look at some of the timing here. Um, forecast radar and satellite. So by the time we get into Monday morning, here comes the big initial storm. And watch the snow levels. I'm going to stop it right there. Watch those snow levels in California this year. They're all going to come up. When you see uh, these, these strong to sometimes extreme atmospheric river setups, they almost always push the snow levels way up, abnormally high. So that may be an issue cutting down on some of the accumulation with this first storm system. I don't think it'll be as much of an issue with the other waves of moisture, but this first storm um, really has some warm air because it's bringing in, it's initiating, initiating this pipeline of warmth and heat off of the Pacific. All right, so there's Wednesday. There's Thursday morning. Um, here comes Friday morning, next wave. Here comes Saturday morning, next wave. You see, so the, all these waves are just lined up, and they all come through California and the West Coast. So it's a, it's a powerful setup. Take a look at that timing on my, uh, on my website if you get a chance. All right, let me go into, um, so integrated vapor, water vapor transport. Um, you're looking at a forecast from a particular model. Notice on 1227, 1228, 1227, um, you're getting a, an initial surge or categorical strength of, of the AR of strong to potentially extreme. Then the moisture wave train continues into 1 4. In fact, 12, 29, 30, 31, and 1 all have a moderate atmospheric river contribution. So that's there. And then there's a weak contribution on 1, 2, 3, and 4. So again, it's four or five distinct waves all coming in with the strength of an atmospheric river pattern. All right, let's go into some of the totals. And I broke this down, broke it out into a couple of different uh, phases. So here's phase 1, 1226 through 1228. So this captures the first big wave of AR moisture coming in. Snow levels, again, could be questionable. Um, around Tahoe, uh, but you can still see uh, a foot, maybe two feet, uh, probably under two feet for Tahoe just because of the snow level issue, but certainly you could reach two feet in Mammoth, your higher up, higher elevation. Um, you're looking at potentially two feet out of the, just this first wave in uh, Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon. You're just going to get smashed. I mean, th this is just the start, right? And you're looking at about a foot in the Tetons, probably eight nine inches up there in Idaho and in Colorado the western slope is going to be the place throughout the entirety of this event the western slope so Vail West that's where the, be the best totals are going to be Vail West down into the San Juans the southern mountains southwest Colorado and we're looking at about a foot for a lot of those places with just this first initial initial surge with less snow as you go east towards the front range high peaks and the continental divide 
All right, phase two is 1229 through 14. So this captures the rest of this AR setup. Um, in California, another 40 to 60 inches. Um, and in uh, the uh, Wasatch, we're looking at another 40 inches there. Um, another one to two feet for the Tetons and another one to three feet in Colorado. And you can see this one does benefit a little bit more um, areas towards the Front Range High Peaks and uh, Summit County. But there's going to be some big numbers across the Western Slope in Southwest Colorado. Um, so again, that's 1229 through 14. On my blog, I actually go into some of my grand total forecasts. So it's right here if you want to take a look at it um, on, the, on the blog. Alta, Utah, potentially 64 inch grand total. Jackson Hole, potential 29 inch grand total. Aspen Snowmass, 32. Crested Butte, 54. That's based on a very particular wind direction. You know, so we're going to have to get that to see that number. So there may be some changes there, but Silverton 48, Wolf Creek 46, Mammoth Mountain 91, Heavenly Tahoe Palisades, Kirkwood 60, 70 inches, something like that. Um, I don't think we're going to match Mammoth in, at Tahoe. I, just because of the snow level issues with the first storm, we'll probably cut down on that, but um, take a look at that if you get a chance. Uh, it's kind of interesting. All right, so in the northeast, not much. One to four inches, a couple of clippers, some lake effect, which you don't see there, um, and, and a storm system on or about the first of the new year. What That probably will be rain uh, with the type of setup that we're looking at. So there you go, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.